tag questions begin as statements and end as questions. Câu hỏi đuôi bắt đầu như là những câu lệnh và kết thúc như là những câu hỏi. In this example, you're tired, aren't you? The subject is you. The main verb is the verb be. Tired, comma, aren't you? Here's the verb be, repeated here, and it's negative, and the subject is repeated at the end, and then there's a question mark. You can also make a statement. You're tired, aren't you? In this case, it's not really a question. You're tired, aren't you? In this example, I know the answer for sure. She can play the piano, can't she? The subject is she. Can play. This is a modal. And at the end of the question, you make can negative. And the subject is repeated. She can play the piano, can't she? It's very important to pay attention to the tense when you make a tag question. In this example, they've eaten, haven't they? Here's a contraction, they, the main verb, eat, in the form of a past part, eaten. They've eaten, haven't they? This contraction is they have. So at the end of the question, have is repeated, it's negative, and the subject is also repeated. They've eaten, haven't they? It's also possible to begin with the negative. They haven't eaten, have they? This is negative. The auxiliary verb at the end is a They haven't eaten, have they? Using tag questions can be especially confusing with the present tense and in the past tense. In this example, the main verb, like, is in the present tense. You like pizza, don't you? Use the auxiliary verb do and make it negative with not. You like pizza, don't you? And here's a tag question in the past tense. She went to work, didn't she? This is the past tense of go. And to go negative in the past tense, you use didn't. The subject is repeated. She went to work, didn't she?